So yo gang, what is up? It's your boy Lies, AK Moto Bro, and today we have a legit electric dirt bike by Moto Flow. I'm gonna give you guys a little walk around and then we're gonna go for a cruise. So let's get into it. This one is flipping dope. You wanna tell a little bit about this bike? So basically it's Moto Flow is the company, the brand name. This is a pro pro circuit. Um bike has four gears with a clutch. Battery lasts four to six hours. Is it, do you know, is it 72 volt, the battery? Yes. 72 I volt? I believe so. It has to be, because I mean, if that be, he says it goes about 70 to 75 miles per hour top speed. So y'all know, this is like a legit dirt bike, man. It's crazy. Has um, basically like a full size dirt bike. Yeah. Like swing arm. I mean, bro, look how. Suspension. Like all the parts are like thick, like a freaking dirt bike. Like this ain't aluminum um, frame. The, the plastics are reliable. They're not just gonna break when you fall. They're made. The bike is made good. Good bimbo brakes. Oh, um, as reliable as it gets. Bro, so as you see, this thing got gears, bro. It literally has four gears like a freaking dirt bike, which is crazy. I've never ridden an electric bike that has gears. So I'm super interested to see what this thing's going to feel like. But let me give you guys a little 360 walk around. As you can see, you got the headlight for when you're riding at night, cruising. Bro, it, it literally just looks like a dirt bike, man. It is crazy. You even got like normal brakes like a dirt bike. And like he was saying, it has a clutch. I'm gonna hop on it in a second to see what like it feels like because I've never heard about having like a clutch on an electric dirt bike so I wonder if it just like helps the bike shift or like when you push it like the power or the engine brake goes away. I'm not sure but this is the Motoflow Pro Circuit Edition and I think he sells it for around 8k to 8500 but see I might be I might be interested in getting one of these because it's flipping sick. <laughs> Oh my lord, got the Subi, let's go. Yeah? What do you say, put a helmet on? Yeah. <laughs> no Spanish, baby. <laughs> Alright, we're about to hop on the freaking Moto Flow. Let's see what this thing's all about, man. Oh, I forgot, bro, it has gears. Is it all up? All up? Dude, it literally has a clutch, bro. Yo. Put on high? Nah. Put it high? Bro, it's it's it crazy it has a clutch. <laughs> like Yo. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh! I'm in fourth gear right now. Hey, so what what gear are you popping it up in? In second? I do everything in second. Second? <laughs> it feels great. I do it on the Nino. No, yeah. No, you don't need the clutch. No clutch? guys it's a little scary oh it has a little bit of lag with the throttle but bro you can just shift gears all right let's pop her up That's so crazy. <laughs> what the? That's gnarly. 
Okay, so this one, it got 76%. This is still ripping. What's that one at? 81. 81? Let's hit the street real quick. Holy crap, bro. What's the top speed you've hit? 70 or 70? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going like 65 right there. I was like, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, bro. In the grass, you know? So there's a little delay when you shift the gears, but it's still freaking. Like, if you wanted a bike mainly for off-road, I feel like this thing is perfect. And it just keeps pulling, bro. Oh, my God. Let's hit a little race. In the grass. Do you notice, though, when you shift gears, like, it takes a second to, like, to get the power going again, right? Yeah. Especially getting into that last gear. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel that too. I feel like for just off-roading, these bikes would be amazing, bro. Yeah, they actually took them off-roading already, like through the water and stuff. Oh, we can go through water and everything? Damn. All right, you in first or? Yeah, I'm in first. All right. Uh, you go, you count it, you go, and then I'll go. Whenever you go, I'm in. All right, three, two, one, go. It's beating me. There's a little more time on the bike. Yeah. I do another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a little wheelie going. All right. This is first, second. I got that new tire, so you really got to be dialed. Hey, for wheelies, I feel like it's best once you get it up there just to be so smooth. I was, I was tired. Yeah, you just got to be like, yeah, you just got to barely be on it. I want to see if I hit a little donut real quick. Ooh, that big got power. <laughs> you can tell I got that power, man. All right, let's go from a roll. Ready? Yeah, ready? Oh. Oh, I got it this time. Yeah. So like I'm saying, it, it takes a second when you shift the gear to get it up to power, but it's right there. Pop it up, pop it up. Let's go. Oh, I'm starting to figure it out. I'm starting to figure it out. It takes time. Yeah. This thing is sick, dude. You really got it. It rides way different than any other e-bike I've ever ridden. Which it probably should because it's a dirt bike, you know? I'm going to show you guys a little walk around real quick before. So as you can see, this thing can wheelie. It's just getting used to it. Like every bike's going to feel different. And compared to a Suron, because it has gears, you really got to stay in the sweet spot. Because you can't just keep going because it has the gears. And I'm too scared to shift while in a wheelie. <laughs> I don't know if it'll pop out. I don't even know what will happen or if it'll just drop. But damn, man. They are sick. And it legit, it feels like 
it feels like I'm on my like 450 in a way just how it rides of course the power and stuff is way different but how the suspension and everything feels it's very similar this guy was sick sick and it got it got stiff plastic so if you're ballsy enough you can scrape it <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. that was a little first gear He said he wants to peep it out. He's like, what the hell is that, man? Yeah, they're electric. They're, they're sick. They're fun to ride. Dude, I, I want to... No way. What? No? Motor bro? Motor bro. Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. Where's the Subaru at, bro? It's at the shop. <laughs> yeah, bro, I've been, um... I want to get one, but I want to make it into a Subaru. You could, bro. Yeah. They're That's sick. crazy that I just... <laughs> Like, you saw us ripping by, or? No, I saw y'all in here. And I was oh. Like, I think that's a. I thought it was the Super Beast. So we were on Super Beast. Oh, okay. And I was like, damn, I want to check them out. Mm -hmm. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, making YouTube. He's like, wow. I was like, don't worry about it. What's <laughs> over there? Yeah, I'll follow y'all. All right, bet, bet, bet. <laughs> Bro, we're hitting some coasters, so I can't really talk right now. Woo! Hey, we're coasting a little bit. <laughs> Bro, I feel like the more and more you ride it, the more comfy you get, you know? You know the bike, the way, the bike. Yeah, and just how the how the throttle hits, like. But that, that's why you gotta get used to it. Yeah, exactly. So instantly, it's just... It, yeah, if, you go, if you're in the coast and you blip it, oh, I don't want to know what happens. <laughs> so if you're wondering, like what it looks like on the inside so where the battery goes pretty much like a Suron the battery goes right in the middle where like the gas tank would go but he's about to show me uh I guess he has tons of other of these bikes next door so we're about to see uh the whole collection oh oh you got it oh nice you got more oh my god you got oh shoot Let's go. We got wow. all these bikes in here. That's crazy. And we have the 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 red sticker. The what? The red sticker. Registration? No, no, the red, the color. Of the color. Oh, of the different sticker. colors. Different oh, okay. colors. Right now, just blue and green, but they come like salmon gray. Ah, you uh, can change the colors yes. to yeah, whatever, pretty much. So the Moto Flow K3 3000. <laughs> So you'll be shipping them too to people yes. eventually? Yeah. Okay, nice. So yeah, hit up motoflowusa.com. Mm -hmm. And, and then um, this is this is like the start of more. More coming. Talking yeah. about side by sides, mopeds, street oh, bikes. Everything. All yeah. electric, right? Yeah, everything Damn. electric. The future is now. The future is electric. So Let's you go. guys wanna maybe get your bikes so y'all can start learning how to wheelie them. Get right on them. It, it takes time. It's not something you jump on them and just. But they're meant for beginners and pro riders as well. Yeah, and like like uh, I don't know if I showed y'all while I was riding it, but it had the low and high power mode. I pretty much stayed in the high power mode because I wanted all the power. You feel me? But if you're a new rider, you could always put in low power mode. And what's the limit? It goes probably like 40, or does it still go with the same speed? It's just lower powered. Um, or is there a limit on the top speed? It's, it's limited on the top speed. Okay. So yeah, limits the top speed. So if you have someone like your kid or something, or you're just a new rider, put that bay in low mode and you won't go crazy. And also, let's say it's a new rider that doesn't know how to shift. We could put it on low, second gear, third gear, and then have them just play around, mm. ride that gear, don't have to shift or nothing. Mm. So 
There's ways you could ride them, stuff, different ways. Yeah, I noticed that. I was in fourth gear and I think I almost, I was like at five, 10 miles per hour and I just kept going in fourth gear and it just goes the whole way. So it's pretty simple and easy to ride. Alrighty gang, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The freaking Motoflow K3000 is sick as you've seen. I'll have a link in the description down below so you can check out his website. And yeah, stay motivated. I freaking love you. Stay disciplined. Till next time. Peace.